Back up for discussion tonight. Concerns over merging the Riverdale and Clayton County Fire Department. So the City Council and the Mayor, uh, they call for a special meeting tonight with this topic being the only item on the agenda. 11 Alive's Teresa Bowles was there and explains the financials behind this discussion. It all comes down to money. We estimate between $750,000 and a million dollars a year, plus the acquisition of two new fire trucks. That's how much money Riverdale City Manager Scott Wood said it would cost to simply maintain the ISO 3 ranking the fire department has currently. He says consolidating with Clayton County wouldn't cost anything, but if not, this could come out of residents' pockets. If people want to pay more taxes, to have the city of Riverdale's name on a fire truck, that's fine. Wood stuck around this time to finally give his presentation to explain the benefits of letting the county take over. Wood explained that there will be no property millage tax increase, but instead an increase of personnel, which is why he's confident EMS response times will not be affected, nor will firefighters' employment status. However, Riverdale resident Jacqueline Taylor wasn't buying it. We didn't um, get any answers just like Monday. There is a, a communication barrier. Wood negates the claims that residents weren't given enough notice about this agenda item as it was in the newspaper and online. Residents are now calling for Wood to be fired, especially after leaving the last meeting early. Wood says he was sick. Why should we keep the manager that's supposed to be handling all these deficiencies? The deficiencies Taylor is referring to are the ISO rankings that determine how effectively a fire department can protect a community. The county's ranking is higher, but she feels if the city's ranking has been low, why hasn't anyone handled it before it started becoming costly? Show us um, a more detailed budget. For residents to get that kind of direct information, leaders plan a town hall for this Saturday at 2.30. We hope that people will begin to look thoroughly at the facts and leave emotions aside. In Riverdale, Teresa Bowles, 11 Alive News. So if the residents, if they agree to pay more in taxes to keep the Riverdale Police Departments um, or, or Fire Departments up and running, a city council member floated the idea of a special election so the residents can make that decision. They can vote on it. It's not clear what the hike would amount to as it's still up for discussion.